Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Uh, up till now, I've not hardly had anyone offer me free things to test, uh, but uh, one of my last videos in the last few months was a test of the Wilson Sleek uh, amplif uh, cell phone amplifier. And once Wilson saw that, they wrote me and said, hey, we, were, we really appreciated your honest evaluation. Can we send you our high-end RV product to eval evaluate as well. We won't charge you anything. We'll just send it to you and it'll be yours to test and give an honest review. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to an offer like that. I'm grabbing that baby up. Uh, so this is it. This is, Wilson has changed their name to WeBoost. This should be, it's here. I don't know if it's on there anywhere. Right here it says WeBoost. That's their new name now, it was Wilson. I've been using Wilson Sleeks for at least five, six, seven years, and I have been very, very happy with my Wilson Sleek. For the money, I think it's uh, one of the best products you can spend your money on and live this life, if, if internet's important to you. Some of you don't care about internet at all, or you go into town to get your internet, so th this doesn't matter. But if you're a boondocker and you're out alone, this baby can be super, super helpful. Where we are right now doesn't have great internet, um, and so I'm gonna really look forward to use, testing this out and trying it. Now, you know, I'm being completely honest with you here, I was given this as a gift, so somewhere, maybe in the back of my mind, is the thought, I have an obligation to them now, and so I can't be honest, and I don't want that to be an issue. I don't want it to be in the back of your mind either. Well, sure, he says it's great, but they gave it to him free, what else can he do? So I'm going to turn this over to my friend Carolyn, who has no obligation to them, and uh, let her test it, and we'll do reports on it together. Um, I'm confident it'll be a good product, but I don't know. So this is an RV cellul cellular signal booster. That means it takes up, it picks up uh, your cell signal, which is our, how we're getting data, how most of us are getting data, through Verizon or AT&T, uh, whoever, uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, whoever you have, that's cellular data, and I'm getting mine from there. It will also work on phone, so it works on both, both voice and data. Uh, it does not amplify a Wi-Fi signal. If you go to Starbucks or McDonald's and you are hoping this will amplify that, it will not. That's a Wi-Fi signal. This doesn't amplify Wi-Fi signals. This only amplifies cellular. It works on all of them, 4G and 3G. Uh, so that's what it is, and it's an expensive model. I think it's like three, four hundred bucks. Now it receives the signal, it boosts the signal, and then it expands the signal. In other words, the signal comes in from the air, from the tower, it receives it, and then it reamplifies it and boosts and sends it back out again, and and boosts it. It's an amplifier. Now let me let me explain one more thing. It cannot create. A, da a data signal. In other words, if there's not a tower with anywhere close and there's no signal in the air, this isn't going to create a signal that doesn't exist. It grabs the signal and amplifies it. So if you're out and you try this and it does nothing, that's because there's no signal. It can't amplify a non-existent signal. It only amplifies the signal you're getting. And, and I've been places where there was zero signal and this could not work. None of them could work. But whenever I've had my Wilson Sleek, which is the little brother to this, much less expensive, nowhere near as good, it's always worked extremely well. So it just gives you an idea. Here's your RV. Here's your, uh, it comes with an antenna, I'm sure. We're going to unbox it, and we'll find out what's in this box. I've never opened it before. And then uh, it, the wires go down to it, and it reboots the signal. So this is specifically designed for an RV. It's an RV cellular signal booster. Pretty expensive device. I'll have the... Uh, all the in, all the details on it in the description, uh, a link to it, and uh, we'll tell you be telling you more about how it's working in detail. So let me give you an idea. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. I don't know yet. Okay, drive 4G XRV, um, uh, a uh, basic. Uh, owner's manual. Gets, probably gets quick started quick drive user manual manual and box A this is install box A you ever watched uh, Casey Neistat do a a uh, an unboxing <laughs> the guy cracks me up which is why he's so popular he just rips things apart <laughs> I'm a little bit like that okay oh look at that step one that's very nice 
So this is box install box A, and then it says step one, and then steps two, three, and so on. So there it's giving you right on the box what to do, when, and where, and I see just quick, quickly glance that the first step is to mount the antenna. So I would assume that this is the antenna. Let's have a look. Okay, so this must be the antenna. And it is. Well, that's a big antenna. So here's the antenna. My Wilson Sleek came with a, a like a four inch stick antenna that's just magnetic. This is uh, much more substantial. It says uh, 4G omnidirectional antenna. And uh, you're going to use these as mounting holes. And it looks like this is a standard, yeah, that's the thing that comes in the back of your TV. Uh, so it must have, must have that wire to go do it first. So since that was the first thing, I'm assuming uh, step one, the first thing you do is mount that on the roof. And now we're at uh, step two and three, six and eight. This, this box includes <clears throat> Accessories for outside installation and power to the Drive 4GX booster. Here is a, a standard, looks like a standard RG6 cable, just like what you have on a VC, we all used to have in our VCRs. And this looks like mounting hardware to mount that. No, that's step six. I love this. Step six, step eight. That is very sharp. What is this? That's steps two and three. So. First, I assume they have you mount this, and then you mount steps two and three is run this through a window or a hole or something into the rig. This is six and eight, so they come up later. Uh, optional, fuse 12 volt hardware power supply. So it comes with a uh, 12, volt, 12 volt power supply. This is box B, it has steps four, five, and seven. I do like that. I, I like a lot that they are uh, are giving you that kind of information. Okay, steps four and five. So these were steps one, steps two and three, and this is step four and five. So this is the actual, I'm assuming, yeah, that is the actual Wii Boost, and this uh, says to use your smartphone to take a picture and send it in to register your product, which again, you know, registering your product is sometimes a problem, but if it allows you to just take a picture of this and send that to WeBoost, Wilson, that's a very nice thing too. This is step six. Pull the RG6 cable through the rubber gasket, then, and I'm, I can't read it upside down, I'm just not good enough. It says outside antenna, RV side, cable entry, and then, uh, I think this is to cable management, so that the cable isn't flopping around. And so this is step seven. And oh, this is an inside antenna. Inside antenna. I think it rebroadcasts using this antenna. So there you have it. It looks pretty well, logical, pretty well laid out. Uh, we'll see how just how hard it is, and if it looks as simple as it, it turns out to be as simple as it looks to be. We'll just have to wait and see. I am getting ready to install the WeBoost 4G Omni directional antenna on my roof and we are going to install it to my ladder which is actually uh, seen better days but we're going to attach this to the ladder and I've decided since I do have to climb up on the roof from time to time uh, that I'm going to install it on the outside. For one thing it needs to clear anything else on the roof and I do have my uh, air conditioner and things so if I did mount it on this side uh, it may not be higher than the air conditioner and other things on my roof and the instructions did say they want it to be higher and they want it to clear anything else on your roof so I'm opting to install it on the outside here is the uh, pouch of hardware that came with it this is what's going to go around the ladder and this is what's going to go here, this curve here, it's going to go around the pole of the ladder. I'll take everything off and I'll reinstall it when I'm ready to install the whole thing. Okay, 
Now we're going to install it to the highest part of the ladder, so I'm going to try to attach the bracket somewhere around here. Okay, so it seemed to me that the easiest way to do this, uh, unless you have two hands up here, and since my ladder is kind of weak, we just um, did it with one person, is to let it just go ahead and fall down below, get everything assembled, screw it on loosely, and then pull it up to where you want it, and then tighten everything down. So we did need the spacers here, which looked like a spare part that came separately on this, but I did need the spacers and they went on after the antenna went on and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and, and bolt those down. <laughs> this is my ladder wobbling, but that's, that's really pretty tight. Actually, I, don't, I think that's about as tight as I'm gonna be able to get it. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the cable to it and it looks just like Bob said when he was doing the unboxing. It looks just like anything that you would use to hook up your cable TV. It's attached on my very wobbly ladder. Okay, alright, here's the wire. View of you, you've probably never seen a Bob before. The wild Bob in his habitat. Okay, when you we left you last, uh, Carolyn was on the roof mounting the little tiny antenna, and it's about a week has passed since then, and now you, she's used it for a week. She's going to give us her initial impressions, and then we'll do another video later, uh, long term and tell you how it's worked out. So, uh, Carolyn, first tell us how you uh, have mounted it and are running it into the rig and then give us your initial impressions. So right now we kind of have a temporary setup on this. I haven't drilled any holes in the rig or anything so that uh, it's, a, it's permanent. Right now I just have the hanging off, the wire hanging off the roof and when I'm not using it, I just coil it around my ladder and, and tie it with a, a a tie and a bungee cord for when I'm driving but when I do use it I just un uncurl un, un, unwind this <laughs> what's the word I unwind this and just put it through my my door in the front and then this hooks onto the booster and the antenna and because I work on the road having a an internet cell phone signal that also supplies my internet is really important to me and especially because I do YouTube videos one of the biggest challenges we have is we might have an, a decent internet signal maybe one bar of 4G but loading videos with that is nearly impossible for example a five minute video might take three hours and that's just ridiculous so I have used this a couple of times now, well, several times over the last week. And what I have found is that if I have maybe one bar of 4G and I'm on Verizon, this having, hooking this up can get me up to five bars of 4G. That's pretty good. I've had a, a another a unit in, I think, when I first started, and I was not able to see results like that that fast. However, what I have found is that increase in bars doesn't necessarily correlate to increase in speed. So I go from one bar to five bars, but I'm not seeing five bar speed, if that makes sense. I have camped right below a cell tower where I had five bars and I had lightning fast speed. I am not necessarily seeing the correlation in speed. However, the other day, still getting used to having it, I was trying to upload a video. I think the first five minutes took me an hour and a half before I realized I had the booster. So I plugged in the booster and I think the second five minutes of the video, I was able to upload it about 30 minutes. So yeah, it does increase my speed. 
I'm not sure it increases it to full five bar, four bar capacity, but I'm definitely seeing an increase in, I'm definitely seeing an increase in speed, which is really helpful. And uh, as far as just for streaming uh, videos, uh, I watch Netflix, for example. It's been really great for that. I'm not getting any of the drag that you see when it's a slow connection. So, so far, I'm really impressed with it. It is really making my working life a lot easier and I look forward to testing it out even more. I haven't been in very, very remote places so far. I think the lowest I've had is maybe zero to one bar of 4G. And uh, we'll see when I get out further um, how it holds up in less than that. <laughs> Well, Carolyn, thank you so much for uh, doing this long-term test for us and let us know. Sure. And uh, keep using it. Use it hard. Give us uh, as many details as you can, and we'll do another video uh, or two or three down the road. So there you have it, folks. We're testing, uh, giving, doing a long-term test of the WeBoost RV amplifier, and we'll keep you informed. Until our next video, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.